there is a deception that I prophesied about that is already happening. It will look as though things want to get, get well. So when January began, uh, BTC started moving. It looked as though things want to take form. It's a deception. So when the people say, okay, oh my God, have you not seen the prophecy I gave coming to pass from last year? The grasshopper will attack the storehouses. It's already happening. So they forced you to put your money in the bank so that they can lock it. The grasshopper globally and the truth of mine, the Lord told me it will begin from the month of April. When we say these things, people attack us. But you see, the word of the Lord is true. It will happen. The Lord told me what we prophesied about last year happened exactly as the Lord said. He said this year, he said this year, he showed me a grasshopper and the belly was green, but the wings were pale. And he said this grasshopper has only one mission for the earth. And that mission is to attack these tall houses. The word was specific. And I prophesied as the Lord gave me utterance. And I've been crying since last year. Famine is coming. But the famine will not start immediately. It will want to look as though there is peace. Then from the month of April down. You will now begin to see the true famine. And the famine will attack one thing specifically. The storehouse. How would you know God has spoken if there is no sign? They sign in Nigeria. They sign in different parts of the world. Some all of a sudden your bank is failing. I told you by the word of the Lord last year. I said you will have money, you will not be able to spend it. Take your money out of the banks and put them in investment, put them in land. Many people obey this, they got food. Me, I save my money in cryptocurrency, so I don't need the bank anymore. Goshen systems must be independent of Egypt's rule. So that when there is darkness in Egypt, Goshen, we have light. Now you are paying to remove your money from ATM. Our mumu know too much. If only they heard the word of the prophet. And we came together and established systems that were independent of the control. Why do you think that they change? They say they are going to change the the currency the big currencies of nigeria do you think this thing they are doing is for election don't deceive yourself it's beyond the election because your election i told you last year by the spirit of god there's going to be nine months of contention the one coming is not your true king so the true king doesn't have a name when i checked in the spirit only a will was given to me and that will came with a name that's not nigeria and that will came with a name cyrus and so i looked into Isaiah 45 and then I discovered that the ministry of Cyrus was to cause the people to rebuild the walls of the city. And I saw Nigeria in that scripture. And to cause the people to return back to their houses. To return, to cause Israel to return back to Jerusalem. He said, okay. And he said, look at these people. They are celebrating a false messiah. When I made that teaching and I raised that cry and I raised that prophetic word, Nigerians attack me because they're always drunk with the same delusion every time they're about to, to elect a king that spirit will come and pour that drunkenness on them and they will be asking who will win not what will God do who will win not what's the will of God who will win and they will be drunk until they elect a wrong man that will plunge them into darkness I told you by the word of the Lord the Lord told me express, expressly Anybody can win, but Tinubu is not my will. Meanwhile, there are, there are pastors that are celebrating Tinubu. What a wicked people. If you trap the will of God, you can download it on Peter Obi. You can download it on Atiku. You can download it on anybody but Tinubu. Because God in heaven, he said, I've rejected this one. Meanwhile, Somebody may not be the will of God, but a, uh, an undiscerning people can vote him in. If it's the will of God, let it happen now. It's the will of God for you to live pure. Do you live pure? A people has to align with the will for the will to manifest. It's not about Peter Obi. It's not about Atiko. It's God's will. What does God want to do with Nigeria? He told me, he said, the incoming president shall only rule for four years. He shall not be the true president. But he will come to pave way for the real president of Nigeria. So God is bringing him to bear the burden down. The Lord told me the first year of his rule will be boiling waters. But the next three years of his rule, the people are going to thank him. 
that God brought that man there. And when his time is over, then the true president of Nigeria will step in. So he said, for this election, the president will celebrate his birthday at the end of the year. And people went to start Googling something. Me, when I received the word, I didn't understand. So I didn't give any meaning to it. And then when the London said there's going to be nine months contention that's going to last till the end of the year. And the true ruler will emerge. We are waiting on the Lord. He said the ruler is going to be Cyrus. He told me that um, I, I listed all those prophecies, about four of them. The one who is least will be first. The one who is seen as number three will become number one. So who is our true president? May God give you understanding. So if you are wise, you will know that it's not time for the true ruler. John the Baptist must come first. John, he does, we don't care about his name. Because in fact, it was Elijah that was supposed to come. But what we saw was John the Baptist. What we are interested in is, is this John the Baptist doing the will. The will. There's an assignment he was sent to do. The one we want is Elijah. But this election, Elijah will have a different name. Right. I wish people understand the words of this prophet. Mm -hmm. If you will only see Yeshua in me, Holy God, Holy God. Only see Yeshua. I know when this go online, they will attack. What is this boy saying? We have track record in the spirit. We don't need to explain ourselves to you. But the time will come when you will remember that the prophet, the priest of Salem, spoke these things by the word of the Lord. And there was agreement in the prophetic cave of Salem, Abuja. Have I spoken a lie, brethren? From where God spoke these things, I was no longer interested in a man. I started scouting. Who would God give a heart? That can bet this thing that God wants to do. Who will God give a heart that we only agree to serve one term? And when he's defeated the next term, he will not say it's foul play. Who will God give that heart? We are talking the will of God. You are talking names here. If this person win, what will change? Don't you know that there's a prince of every throne? A good leader can be made bad. When it's not his time to rule, when I prayed about Peter, Obi, that's what God told me. When I prayed Atiku, about Atiku, I didn't even see him. About Tinubu, God said, This one has been rejected. He will plunge your country into 40 years of darkness. That's when I understood that who God will raise is not about a face or a name. Is whose heart can host what God wants to do. When I spoke by the word of the Lord in New York, and I said there's someone who is popular, who it looks as though his hand will be lifted up, but God will cut him off from the election. There was a man who was popular. That man was supposed to come to me for prayer. The Lord will not allow me to see him. He is the popular one to win, but now he's in jail. Do you, don't you fear God? This thing we are talking about is beyond your PVC. Get your PVC and vote in the direction of the will of God. Does the nation pray? No. From the way they speak online, you will know they don't pray. So God can will a thing, but because there are no listening people who can war with prophecy. God can will a thing. But when there are no voices to listen, and people can war with prophecy, that will be brought to the ground even though God wills that thing to happen so the prophecy has to go in search of a man but alas Jerusalem is a place that kills their prophet the Lord spoke to me and I made a publication there's a hook and I saw the name of that hook was the media Satan in this election Hey, he will raise wicked men that will use the media to enslave, deceive the people, to betray the people. As you raise your voice to cry in the media, the same media is going to lead people into the net. And I saw that net as the armed forces. So, media, there are a lot of your influencers 
there are a lot of people that have a voice in this season after election it they are going to be put in a net in jail you, you see them go missing you begin to hear all kinds of scandal against them it's not because they are guilty it's because the hook has caught the fish so the lord told me say beware of the media he spoke to me said they're about to make a liar the king they will make him a king and he said to avert this he said the people must reject overnight counting of vote 24 hour count of vote the people must reject it he said the people should look in the west onto ogun state and in the north onto kano because kings from this place will cast their crown at the dying minute and then they will declare a liar a king I yes, la dama no ne yes, I let I have a lule la tello Abiani la manana yes, I let la lune fallo te benana semina dia ville lorena. Hebiana luke vile tomina tebo sile mamama We are not talking about language here Who is talking about my language or language? We are talking about the destiny of the people of Nigeria Three princes are in this country Ay, oh my God Semina elande nama Ay, heve lo menane Shalove ma 